Generating text-to-speech datasets can be a time-consuming task. To facilitate recording voice and creating transcripts, I wrote a tiny tool called um, TTS Dataset Creator. The tool consists of um, two scripts, the text collector here and uh, the generator. The idea behind the project is to show you a text that you can record using your own voice. The recording is cleansed and saved along uh, with the text files in a structure that is compatible with the LJ speech dataset. So let's see the tool in action. When you clone the repository, you will find the following files, including one text folder. This text folder contain, um, contains uh, several files for English and German language. These are the only two languages supported at the moment. Um, feel free to contribute here. And these are the two scripts, um, the generator and the text collector. We will start by running the main generator. When the script starts, you have to select a microphone and for your recording. In my case, it's number two, so I press two and enter. You select a folder to store your samples. Um, I use the default folder here, press enter. Folder will be created, as you can see. Um, then you select a language. I will choose EN for English and press enter. Um, then I can select if uh, the text transcripts uh, should be uh, written down in a CSV file or many single TXT files. I press enter for CSV and then all text files get read from the text folder um, merged and split into sentences. So um, in this session I will be able to read 250 sentences until the tool closes. What happens now is uh, that you will be shown each of these sentences and you read them out loud. Um, your reading will be recorded and saved into um, a WAV file. And when you press N, the next sentence is presented and you immediately start reading the next sentence. When you are not satisfied with your reading, you can press D and the last sentence will be um, repeated. And when you have recorded enough, uh, you can press E to exit the tool. I will show you how it works. Alberto took one look at his new neighbors and knew that his life was going to get more difficult. He watched them arrive in their big noisy car and watched them get out. So if I'm not satisfied, I press D and the sentence will be repeated as you can see. Um, now I will press E to exit. When looking into the sample folder, we will find only one file here and the metadata CSV. In the metadata CSV, we will see uh, the WAV file referenced here and the corresponding text twice. Um, because um, the speech dataset structure has um, the text one time in raw format and one time in um, cleansed format, which mainly means that all numbers are written out. Um, and we will see that the WAV file, uh, WAV file is shown here, and we can play it. Okay, and it has been recorded correctly, and all silences at the beginning and at the end are truncated, so that you have a, a clean WAV file. That's it for the generator. When you recognize that you need more text to read, um, 250 sentences are not very much um, to train a text-to-speech engine or a translator or anything else, um, speaker recognition, for instance, um, then you can generate more text. And you can do that by main text 
collector by calling main text collector. We will see how it works. Again, you select a language. I will enter EN for English. And then you can select how many files you want to generate. And this file generation um, is a simple process that selects a random uh, topic from Wikipedia and downloads the article or the summary and saves the summary um, in a cleansed format as text file in the text folder. Let's see how it works. I will enter three to download three summaries. And downloading starts. We can see that we have um, some random topics for Turay Pan Pacific Open. No idea what that is. Um, but we can look it up here because the three files have just been created. And here we can see the summary. Um, in the next run, when you start the generator, you will be presented all these text, including the three Wikipedia articles. Um, by that, you can easily generate a lot of text files that you can read without copy and pasting, um, yeah, for instance, books or um, some online articles that you need to clean up. Um, so this is very easy for training data generation.